Okay. All right, so we're recording and I'm gonna share my screen because I do have slides tonight. Okay, we are good. All right, so tonight I'm going to talk about expanding your leadership capacity. So get pens and papers ready because I want you to really take notes and think about other things I'm going to go over, what you want to focus on. So this is actually a recap from Craig Rochelle and also some takeaways from the Global Leadership Summit of 2015 that I just attended last Thursday and Friday. So before I get into all of the fun stuff, I just have a, a laundry list of reminders, quick reminders. It's like super long. So the first one is that remember level one training is ongoing. So if you're inviting to the business and you have a new coach, you can put them in there right away. You don't have to wait for a new month to start. And if you are in there, make sure to get it done. You know, get your video recorded, watch all the videos. If you've already gone through all these videos, watch them again. I actually recorded the videos and I, I watched them again too because I hadn't seen them in a while. So just make sure you're doing those and you're commenting with your answer because your coach or myself is saving that and then we can really hold you accountable to your goals. Um, which leads us to level two. So level two is really all about accountability. We started last week with our first accountability call, which was a lot of fun. And these are calls where we get on and we talk about what we need help with, what we did for the week, what you know we can improve on for next week. So these are really beneficial and this is also where we're all posting our goals and I was just in there before this call and one of the newer coaches just signed up her first coach, so nice work. I mean, it's crazy, people are already hitting success club, so it's a lot of fun in that group. So make sure you finish level one so you can move in to the party group with us. Another thing I wanted to mention is success partners. Okay, so I thought, another thing that we thought we could just do this like super easy, but since there's 100 coaches in level one, it's been harder than I thought to match people and then trying to make sure you saw who your partner was might not have happened. So check the files for partners. If you don't have a partner from this point on, like, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to find people in the group who need a partner, you know, take ownership of that, but then really connect with your partner if you do have one, if you don't look for somebody. Um, Success Club, it's the 10th of the month, so make sure you're still thinking about how many people you want to help. I'm still at zero. I'm going to be honest and tell you that because I want you to know where I'm at. And so my game plan, I was telling my cup team, is to really spend a lot of time inviting people but following up. And one thing I just learned, sorry, I'm talking fast. I feel like I have a lot to cover. I just got a message from Arnold at corporate that the 21 day fix price is still up on the sites, but it's going to go back to 160 on the 12th. They don't know what time it's going to happen, but on the 12th, it's going to go back up. So if you had people on the fence, like tomorrow all day, I'm going to message everybody that I was talking to and tell them, you know, the price is going to go up on the 12th. So work on success club. Another thing I wanted to talk about is just investing in personal development. So I went to this conference and I'm so grateful I did because over the past couple of years, I always make sure to go to at least one conference outside of a beach body event just to do personal development. And I think it's really something Christina stressed when I signed up and I want to make sure we're all letting you know how important it is to really invest in yourself. You know, everything ends up being a write off, but the things that you're going to learn through personal development are going to help you in all areas of your life, not just speech body. I know Erin can vouch for that too. I, I said something about her and how she got recognized at her job, said, keep doing whatever you're doing because it's showing up in your work with us. So make sure you invest in personal development. I also shared, there is a, an, a free app, it's called GLS Next, and it's all leadership trainings little snippets, so if you need some personal development, I recommend that. Platinum Edge, we're still, we still have more people signing up to go. I know there's still tickets available, so if you wanna go to Platinum Edge, don't forget to check that out. You do have to register through PlatinumPresenters.com, so make sure you're signed up for that. All right, almost done with all these 
reminders, quick. Um, so open house group will be next week. So if you have people that you want to bring to the team or people that you think this could really help them out, you know, make sure that you start to think about inviting to that. I'll be setting up the group probably on Wednesday or Thursday. So I'll let you guys know when that's set up. Another thing, all of these calls are archived. Every time we do a team call, I get the recording from whoever led it and I put it in our website. So if you've not gone on to United Nations website yet, make sure you check it out. And at the top where it says about us, you can see there's one that says weekly calls. And I've put on there a little like description of what the topic is and who led it and the link for the YouTube. So if you miss these calls, you know, you can always watch them later or if I talk too fast. No, I'm just kidding. And then the last thing is leadership training in Illinois. So this is September 1st. Jeff Hill, the vice president of, what is it, global sales? Global sales? Something like that. Um, he's coming to Illinois to do an event. And so to get to this event, you have to be either an Emerald coach or you have to reach Success Club 5 by the 20th. So I hope, I know I just saw like five or six of us have already signed up. So I want to see anyone who's in Illinois needs to make it a priority to reach Success Club or reach Emerald so you can join us because this is like, he doesn't come out here very often at all. I don't think he has the past four years I've been here. So, so yeah, so make sure to get to that if you're in Illinois. All right, time to talk about leadership. <laughs> so I want to first start by, this is what we're going to go through today. The five C's to expanding your leadership capability. So the first one is building your confidence. Then we're going to talk about expanding your connections, improving your competence, strengthening your character, and then increasing your commitment. So while I'm going through each of these tonight, I want you to think about which one do you need to work on, you know, out of these five, what do you want to focus on? Because a lot of times we try to do too much at one time. So I just want you to pick one and that's what you're going to master. So we're going to start with build your confidence. So this was a really good one to start out with because a lot of times we are speaking the language of the lid. So what does that mean? That is your self-talk and what you're telling yourself you can or you can't do. So if you're saying, you know, oh, I don't have time for this business, you're not going to have time for it. If you say, oh, I can't believe I'm, I'm never going to lose weight, then you're never going to lose weight. So you get the picture. You have to start speaking to yourself positive and changing your self-talk. And this is something, this is one of my struggles with myself. I'm really hard on myself. I've, since I was 10, I've said out loud to people that I'm fat. So my whole life I've said I'm fat, I'm fat. People think I'm crazy and weird. But so I have to turn that switch off and change it. Like when we were at Summit, I was telling my roommates, like, I am strong and I am lean and I am healthy. And so you have to just start telling yourself these things. So this, not only just with your own fitness, but with your business, you know, I can reach Success Club 5. I, I have reached it. Act like you've already done it. I am a leader. You know, start speaking to yourself in a positive way. Then the next thing I wanted to remind you is that you are a leader. Once you sign up in this business, whether you have zero coaches right now, you have two, you have 100, you're a leader in this business. You are making an impact on people's lives. You know, you're that go-to person for them when they need advice or motivation. So make sure you always remember that, that you are a leader. You know, I think a lot of times I thought, I've always kind of been in leadership roles, but I didn't really think I was a leader. And I'm realizing that this is one of my callings and I'm a leader and I want you to all know that you are put in this place as well. So own it. Um, Another thing is that you have more inside of you than you can imagine. So I think a lot of times we sell ourselves short. And so just keep believing in yourself and knowing that you have what you need to be a leader, which leads me into there are different leadership styles. So not everybody is going to lead the same way. We're all wired differently. We all have different communication skills. And so know that, you know, you're not going to be like, I'm never going to be like Christine Dwyer. I absolutely love her to death. I love her leadership, but we are like way too different people. And so, you know, same thing with Christina. We're like complete opposites. So that's okay though. Just own your own leadership style. And then the, so your pathway to your greatest potential is straight through your greatest fear. 
So for most of you who know me, I hate public speaking. It was one of the things that even when I would get on calls, our team calls to check in with people, I would be like, I talked to two people and I added, I would be so nervous. And the first time Christina asked me to speak, I was like, okay, if I'm ever going to be on stage with someone, I'm going to need to practice. And I was like shaking the whole time. But once you start to get past those fears is when you really start to grow. So if you're afraid to invite people right now, you just got to do it. Like, what are you waiting for? Just set a goal to invite one person a day to the business. Or if you're afraid to invite people to your challenges or you're afraid to talk to people on the phone, just get through that fear. You know, that's going to really help you grow and get through your, get to your greatest potential. So number two is expanding your connections. So I love this because this is something we always talk about our Beachbody family. And I'm so grateful to have like this awesome community and ignited nation. I, I love you guys so much. And I want you to think about this. You may be one relationship away from changing the course of your destiny. I'm not gonna, I'm trying to try to not get too emotional here, but a while ago I was in like a really dark place and I was living in a, an apartment with bed bugs and where I heard gunshots and I didn't feel safe. And I was just surrounding myself by these people who were like kind of okay with that. Like that was okay. And I just, like I knew something had to change. And when I moved back to Illinois, I kind of looked around like, who am I surrounding myself with? And who are my friends? And once I met Christina, I didn't know her. I found her on Facebook and I started to just see what she was doing. And I was introduced to more coaches. And so I started surrounding myself with these people who had similar goals. And then I met my fiance, AJ. And I think if I would have never met Christina and the Beachbody community, I might not have ever grown into the person that I've become. So I want you to remember, like, you, if you don't have the right people in your life, like, they're out there. We're out here. Connect with us. You know, you could be one relationship away from really changing. You know, I went from having bed bugs to earning six figures in this gorgeous place and working from home and doing what I love. So just make sure you're surrounding yourself with people who lift you up and who inspire you. Really look at your circle. You know, if you have those people that are still cutting you down and saying, oh, you can never do that. Why are you doing that? You're crazy and you can't lose weight and you can't work from home. That's a scam. And I just like, you don't need those people, you know, just keep working on yourself. Keep surrounding yourself with positive people. And those people will just kind of start to just go back away. You know, you don't have to get in big fights with people. I'm not saying that, but I've had people in my life that I just, they're not in my circle anymore. You know, I, I still will say hi to them, but make sure your circle is surrounded with people who lift you up. And then when you're expanding your connections, so, you know, we talk a lot about following top coaches and seeing what they do, which is amazing. And I do that all the time, but you can't just copy what successful people do. You have to start to learn how they think. So learn, like look at their patterns, see what they're doing and start to kind of get in their heads. Don't just be like, Oh, I'm going to, I like what she posted and copy and paste everything that other people do or share everybody else's stuff. You know, you need to be your own person and really learn how successful people are thinking. Find a mentor. So everyone needs to, or follow a coach. You know, I have tons of mentors. Shalene, I was just listening to her while I was folding my laundry to try to make that exciting. Um, Danny Johnson, Tony Robbins, Christine Dwyer is one of my mentors. Anytime she does a training, I'm like in it. Lindsay Matway, like watch all of her videos. I stalk her page. Um, Brian Tracy's books, I love them. John Maxwell. So find someone. It doesn't have to be someone that you're talking to every day, but have a mentor, somebody that you know you can go and read their book or listen to their audio and that'll help lift you up. So expanding your connections. Doing good on time. All right. And then improving your confidence. So maybe you need to work on different areas. You know, I, this is what I realized I have to do is I need to improve some of my communication skills <laughs> and leadership skills, but decide what area you need to improve specifically. So if you have no idea, like, I don't know what I'm, I'm not that great at, ask the people around you if you don't know, because they're going to be honest with you. AJ tells me all the time, 
with my communication skills <laughs> that I'm very like short with people or sometimes I don't tell him the beginnings of my stories. I tell him the end because I think he's in my brain. So I need to work on communication. Listening is a good one too. If you're always talking to people and you're talking and talking and talking, you're not doing any listening. So maybe that's what you need to work on. You know, you need to get hear from people, see what their struggles are and get to know them. Um, Delegating is a good one. I'm not very good at that yet either. Um, feedback. So there's a book, I think it's called Thanks for the Feedback that just came out, but it's about taking feedback and giving feedback. And so even with like our training, I had to ask the other leaders, like, do you think this is working like specifically and ask questions and then take that feedback. If it's good, go with it. If it's not good, use that to grow and use it as criti constructive criticism. Work ethic, you know, do you have to work on working harder, setting your schedule, getting organized? Do you need to work on recruiting and building a team? Are you recruiting the right people to your team? And then casting a vision, you know, what does your vision look like? But I want you to pick, if this is the one you need to focus on, just pick one topic and study it. Like I said, I'm really going to be working on communication and being a better leader. That's what my focus is going to be on and making sure that I can communicate with my team in the right way. So pick your one topic. And then the next one I feel like, I don't know if I should say this, but I feel like we don't have to work on this one too much because I think we have such solid people on our team. But if we're ever in a funk, maybe we need to look at this one. So strengthening your character. So I liked this, talent can get you to the top, but only character will keep you there. So always make sure basically you're being a good person. You know, check for leaks in your system. Like, Make sure your relationships are all in order. Make sure there's no little white lies coming out. You know, you're not putting yourself in front of other people and ahead of others. Um, battling with pride. And then another one that, I mean, I, I face this one is, are we trying to impress people? A lot of times, like, we get caught up in material stuff or as coaches when we're showing our income. And it can get kind of weird on how you, you communicate that. So just make sure that we're not, like, just saying, like, oh, I'm trying to impress people. So... Check for leaks on that. You are only as strong as you are honest. Honesty is key. You know, I think we all know this, so I'm going to keep that one real short. <laughs> but that's one in case something seems off still to go back to. Um, and then this one's a good one. Increase your commitment. So if you want to increase your leadership, you might need to increase your commitment. So there's a big difference between I kind of want this or nothing will stop me from doing this. So I want you to say that again. There's a big difference between I kind of want this or nothing will stop me from doing this. So like for Success Club, for example, I think I'm on month 34 in a row or something. And there's been months where I've literally had to be like, Dad, I need you to get a challenge pack. It's the 31st and I'm not missing this. You know, nothing's going to stop me from reaching Success Club. Um, or I've like given out a gift card or whatever I've had to do because that's something that I just set as a no matter what goal. So I want you to just know like if there's something you want, you have to have that mindset. You have to increase your commitment and say like, I'm doing this. I don't care what other people say. I'm focusing and making it happen. And the same thing, like you have to stop kind of trying to do something. I think it was Tara Carr maybe did like a long post about Somebody was complaining about the 21 day fix not working, but they weren't doing it. They were like kind of doing it. And sometimes they'd follow it and do the containers and sometimes they do the workouts, but they weren't following it. And so they're not going to get the results because they didn't commit to it. So it's the same thing with this business or with other areas of your life. You know, if you really want something to happen, you have to just go for it and focus on it. You can't just kind of do it. Um, so how bad you want something determines what you will do, do to get it. So this is in all areas of your life. You know, like I said, if you really want something bad enough, you can make it happen. If you really want to work from home full time, you're going to find a way to make this business a priority. If you really want to pay off your debt, you're going to find a way to stick to a budget and make it happen. You know, you can do it. You have it in you to do it. And then a quote I wanted to add to is everyone wins when the leader gets better. So all of these things are to help you grow as a leader. So recap, 
which one out of those five things do you really need to focus on for the next 30 to 60 or 90 days? You know, do you need to work on building your confidence? I know in the beginning of this business, I was like the first thing I needed to do is working on confidence and studying that. And then expanding your connections. Do you, do you have the right people around you? Are you t is, does everybody you ask about the 21 day fix say it's too expensive? If every single person says it's too expensive, maybe you're not in the right circle there. You know, you need to find the right people in that sense too, but expand your connections, surround yourself with positive people. Um, improve your competence. So are there skills you really need to work on? Do you need to work on public speaking skills or do you need to work on closing or time management? You know, what can you do to improve your competence? Strengthen your character, you know, keep being awesome people and super awesome and super sweet and honest and loyal and trustworthy and all those things that we are and communicators. Um, and then of course, increase your commitment. I think a lot of times in this business, like that's a big one too. Like you have to be committed to it. Cause if you kind of do your business activity tracker and you like followed up with a couple people, but not a bunch of other ones, you know, you're not going to get to where you want to go. So a couple bonus takeaways that I had were that Almost every single speaker at this event, I think there were seven or eight, talked about failure and how we have to stop thinking about failure as a negative. And I know we do this in um, go for no. We go for 100 no's in that chart or we ask 100 people to the business because no means, like not right now, failure does not have to be a bad thing. It's a good thing. And you know, in this business, I'm, I don't know why I'm just sharing lots of inside stuff with you tonight, but there's been times like last year, I really, really, really wanted to be a premier coach. I had all the points, I had one of the diamonds, actually I think I had two of the diamonds, but they were on the same side. And I just didn't get there. And I was upset and I failed my goal. And I just grew from that. I knew that this year I had to change things. I had to work with my leaders differently. I had to work with my team differently. You know, learn from your failures. and. Don't, you know, you might be sad about it for a second, but just know that it's going to help you grow in the long run. So I liked this quote too. What is on the other side of the coin from success? It's not failure, it's growth. So just keep reminding yourself that. And no likes attract like, and I have, like, I just don't like to fail. I like to be perfect and I like to do everything the right way. So I think a lot of times that can hold us back. So make sure that you're just going for it and you're knowing that you can learn from any failures or mistakes or things that happen and you can just continue to grow. Another thing I love is that the very core of leadership is love. This is what Bill Heibel said. It's not just vision, it's love. It's loving people and caring about them and being honest with them, you know? So make sure like you are loving on your challengers. If you have somebody that's in your free group, you are checking on them, you're communicating with them. If you sign up a coach, you are like calling them, texting them, sending them thank you cards, you know, really, you know, share love and be that light in people's lives. And so another thing that I love too is life is too short to live without a white hot why. <laughs> So we talk about a why that makes you cry, and sometimes your whys don't always make you cry, um, but I like the white hot why, and I want you to find yours and live it out with all of your heart, and this, this hit me because my why in the beginning was to not, to have time for my friends and family, to not have to work 12 part-time jobs, to not live paycheck to paycheck, but as all those things have happened, now my why has shifted. You know, I want to be able to provide for a family. I want to be able to help my parents out. I want to be able to grow tons of successful leaders who can do whatever they want with their goals and dreams. So your why is going to change through this business, but make sure that you know what it is and you live it out with all of your heart. And then a couple more things. This was from a TED Talk I just watched last night, and I had to throw it in here because... It talked about training your mind. So all these other tips were talking about how to become a better leader. But to do that, like in the first one, you do have to really have that mindset and you have to be positive. So it was a TED Talk on a show on Netflix. I'll post the link later. But it talked about training your mind to be positive. And so for any of these things, the goal is to do them for 21 days and make it a habit. So gratitude, this is something that I love to do I haven't been doing it every day, so that's one of my new goals too, to make it a habit again every single night before I go to bed, writing out 
10 things I'm grateful for. Or every morning when you write, wake up, you write at least one to three things down that you're grateful for. You know, making sure that you just notice the little things in life and stay grateful. Meditation, like I'm terrible at meditation. I have so many apps and I use them from time to time, but even just five minutes to sit in silence and not look at any social media, not talk to anybody, just doing meditation every day helps train your mind to be positive. Journaling, you know, if you're feeling stressed out or if you're just like, you have a lot of good ideas, whatever it is, journaling is a great way too to just really keep things moving in the right direction, keeping you positive. And then exercise. We all do this one. <laughs> so make sure like it's a must. I mean, exercise helps boost your serotonin serotonin levels. You know, doing it in the morning, I think for me, helps me pr be productive later throughout the day. So make sure that's always on your calendar. And then active kindness. So this is one that I think would be so cool if we could spread one act of kindness a day. Whether that's you buy somebody Starbucks, you compliment one of your challengers, you call or text a friend, you send a random thank you card. If we could each do one thing a day that was really nice and really random, could you imagine what like a happy place and happy bubble we'd be living in? I mean, so I just think for me, I really wanna work on one thing a day, just doing something nice for somebody else. And all of these things, you know, you can do them all, you can pick which ones you like, I'm going to probably do them all, but journaling, I'm not a good journaler. Um, maybe that'll be later after the wedding. But, you know, do different things so you can train your mind to stay positive. And the last thing I'll close with is that most great leaders do not start as great leaders. They grow into great leaders. So know that, you know, depending on where you are in your journey, you don't have to be this perfect, amazing leader right off the bat. You can grow into a great leader because you're all awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute everybody. I kept it in 30 minutes. I'll keep it muted. And then if you want to chat, you can unmute yourself so it doesn't echo like crazy. Does anyone have any questions about anything or any comments or anything to end the night with? Everyone's quiet. Okay. What did you say? Um, the Netflix is it a, like a documentary type thing? It's like a movie. It's a it's on Netflix. It's like TED Talks, Life Hacks. I want to say. Ten Talks. TED. P E D. Oh. And how long was it? Like a movie? It was only twelve minutes. It's like a little. Oh. One. oh okay. So I'll find it and I'll put it in our group page. Okay. But it was really good. Cool. That was good, Ellie. Thanks. You had fun at your thing. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun. I feel like I have like eight things I could teach on now. <laughs> Anything else? Alice, I got on late. So was this, this was all stuff that you learned at the conference you went to this week then? Yeah. This was just from one session. There were seven. Wow. And this was the last one of the the two days and I don't know why I was just like taking notes like crazy and it just really I like I like things that I can pick out in points so I really followed along and thought it would help us but yeah next year in Illinois they're doing the 2016 it's a global leadership um, I think it it gets around to 250,000 people go through this event so it's pretty cool but yeah that's what it's from anybody else like a disco crazy party. Um, so I just have a quick comment. Uh, so I'll, I'll find, I have it in one of my old blog posts. I'll have to find it and I'll post it to the group. But uh, one of the things for me that I did actually through my regular job that's kind of helped everywhere was we have like these three stories that really helped me to build my confidence and change the way I thought about myself. So I'll post it out there for everyone else too. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely share positive good stuff. I feel like everyone needs to smile. It looks so serious. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday, and we're doing our sugar-free challenge this week. So whoever's in there, no sugar, no dark chocolate before I go to bed. Looking to it.
That's what I just ate when we were on the call. <laughs> Good thing I couldn't see your face. No, I could see only a couple. That's funny. I got water and I got a vegan shake to drink later. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this and I'll post the recording. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this, but thanks so much for jumping on. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast. I just wanted to make sure I got it in 30 minutes, but lots of good team calls coming up. We're going to do our level two accountability group later this week, our accountability call. Um, and remember, open house is next week. So start thinking of who you want to invite to that, but you're all awesome. Thanks for being awesome leaders. Have a good night.